Hello everybody, this is Nia Feiler and I'm here with a weekly astrological message. This time for November 14th, we're talking, going to talk about at least until the 23rd and we're going to talk about many things. Today we're going to talk about entering the shadow of the Venus retrograde, entering eclipse season with a powerful lunar eclipse and what it means and generally about the sky and how it affects us and how to more positively deal with those effects <laughs> anyway so we are in a very tense time in the sky I mean one of the most frustrating and 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 tense times that we could see over the year and this is something that was at its height last week but it's still here and is going to be with us for the next week at least we're talking about the t-square in the sky and if you want more information about it go to my last video and this T-square is still in effect. The 14th, however, is a good day. It has a lot of positive energies in the sky. And it could be diminished already because of the double approaching square between Venus, planet of, com of, uh, of uh, relationships and love, the relationship I have with money and food and any kind of matter in, in this material plane, and the relationship I have with myself, my self-respect, my self-esteem. Of course, this is a challenging time but this is a wonderful time to address issues that need to be addressed in a calm way. It is a turbulent time when it comes to relationships. It is a sensitive time when it comes to self-esteem and self-respect and how I feel about people and what I think people feel about me. And therefore, we could be much more vulnerable and sensitive and we could be a bit insensitive towards others and hurt others. So we really need to heighten our sensitivity and empathic feelings at this time. And we're going to feel it 14th, 15th, 16th, but 15th is its height. On the 16th, the sun throws in a lot of positive energy with a sextile to Pluto, the transformator. This is about inner power to manifest yourself in this life. It's about the understanding that that energy that you need to overcome whatever stands in your way is not outside, it's within. Um, the 17th planet of male energy, Mars, planet of action and entrepreneurship and sexual desires and aggression as opposed by Uranus. Now Uranus is in a very close approach to Earth. We feel Uranus very much at this time, Uranus is all about enlightenment and going forwards and heading towards the future and the quickening of things. Things become, things change so fast, exponentially. And when it is opposed by Mars, this really gives us a short fuse. We could become a bit neurotic. We don't have the patience sometimes um, to wait for others around us change as well or to walk forward as well don't be throwing away babies with bath waters the 18th mercury planet of communication trines the planet of imagination planet of spirituality and artistic endeavors and illusion neptune now this is an amazing time for writers of all kinds for screenwriters and playwrights and uh, all kinds of and, and of course uh, storytellers and, 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 and uh, poets and, and, and uh, authors but it's also an amazing time for any kind of other artists like singers and people who play or dance or whatever it is it's also an amazing time to learn more about spirituality to connect to nature and goddess um, it's an imaginative time and a romantic time Nevertheless, keep your eyes on reality and not on utopy. Uh, the 19th is the day we're going to have a full moon lunar eclipse. Very strong lunar eclipse that we are going to feel already from the 18th or maybe the 17th and the next two days after the 19th as well. It's ended at the 27th degree of Taurus, so people more challenged by this eclipse in the 27 degree of Taurus are people with their son, people who were born at the end of Taurus, who were born at the end of Scorpio, who were born at the end 
of uh, Aquarius or the end of Leo. And this eclipse squares Jupiter, opposes Mercury. Um, eclipses, especially lunar eclipses, are about transformation in regards to how we feel in regards to our personal world. We could have transformational patterns that actually change our affinity, the things that we feel belong to us, the, feel, the things we feel uh, uh, amity to, and, and, or the things we're repulsed by. And that could actually change our world views and definitely our feelings. Um, eclipses are nothing to be afraid of. They're neither positive nor negative and that already depends on how they work with your chart and how you answer those challenges but they're definitely a time in which time and space don't work the way they do usually a lot of transformational occurrences and experiences can happen in a very short time and have a very long impact sometimes even a year-long impact so this is the first eclipse we're going to have next one is in two weeks and just on the 20th, Mercury is going to square Jupiter exactly. Now, this is a time that we could be indiscreet. We could have a bit of verbal diarrhea. We could be too direct, tactless. And on the more positive side, I mean, if we're keeping our tongues zipped or at least calculating our words, this is an amazing time to meet more people, to heighten our popularity. It's a good time to open up your horizons and learn new th new things and new information as well just don't overdo it don't go over the top don't jump too high too soon too fast it's all about moderation the next day the 21st mercury planet of communication sextiles pluto the transformator this is a psychological even a psychiatric kind of uh, uh, formation in the sky it gives us an introspective ability both on ourselves and our surroundings people in our surroundings and it strengthens gives power to our words we have to be careful because they seep in deeply our words at this time and make sure that whatever we're saying is causing is causing positive transformation and not hurting ourselves or anyone else 22 i have nothing to say about the 22nd and the 23rd positive day in the sky now I don't have anything too too important to say about it. I want to talk about the Venus retrograde cycle that we're going to be in the shadow of this retrograde cycle in Capricorn already on November 17th. Now the retrograde starts officially December 19th and is going to last until the 29th of January 2022. It's a long retro. It happens every two years. But we're going to be in the shadow of this retro. That means where Venus is actually going to retrograde from November 17th until the 1st of March. That's a very long time. I personally don't like Venus retrogrades. As a Taurus, and Venus is my ruling planet. It always involves some kinds of corruption of aesthetics and beauty um, of my natural surroundings, sometimes my whole garden. Um, is like I remember my whole garden was devastated once after working on it for three years um, so people were affected by this retrograde in Capricorn and of course Capricorns and Cancers and Aries and Libra but also as I said before people born in the sign of Taurus or the sign of Scorpio Venus retrograde is about purification and adjustment and an update in everything that Venus is in charge of. So that means our self-esteem, our relationship with our bodies, with food, with drink, with material essence, with material value such as money, and of course with other people, relationships and love. This is an amazing time to be more introspective, to look at things before we actually act upon them. 
But if you do need to do something big that involves a lot of assets or that you've been planning for a long time and cannot be postponed, just make sure that everything is in order. This is not the time to be happy-go-lucky, to take the stance of the fool and say, you know what, it's going to be all right. You know, I have a personal relationship with goddess and it's not going to happen to me. I'm, 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 um, I'm free of all this samsara that everybody's going through. <laughs> That's a Piscean kind of uh, kind of thought, but or or a Jupiterian kind of thought, but um, it doesn't work. Eventually, you understand you're human, and that's why from November seventeenth, I would say put more attention in how you treat your body, in what you eat, your nutrition, how you treat your friends and loved ones, especially your lovers, and of course, financial situations in life. Um, this is a good time to actually cultivate that update and work towards it, and actually assist it to happen in a positive, tranquil way in your life. So, I want to remind you there are sessions with me, readings, all kinds of readings, evolutionary readings, natal chart readings, death charts, um, you know, whatever you want with me through Zoom, so you can always contact me, and of course, private lessons or groups, same thing. I would love to hear from you, and I want to thank you for sharing this and commenting on this. It exposes this to more people, and I want to wish you, may we all live long and prosper. This is Nia Feiner, signing off. Bye-bye.